Hi folks, how you doing? John from Design Delegates Pastry Shop here. I hope you're uh, doing well. It's We're right here in the middle of summer, and I'm not wearing my chef's coat tonight because it is just too darn hot. Uh, we're going to be baking some coconut butter drops tonight, a.k.a. the world's most delicious, wonderful coconut cookies in the world. And it's going to get hot in here. It's already hot in here, so without any further ado, we're going to get our ingredients together. We're going to make a little mix. We're going to roll some dough. We're going to bake them off. We're going to eat them and enjoy them. So stay tuned, and we'll get started in just a moment. Thanks for tuning in. We're going to make our, our coconut cookies here. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to use the, uh, the mixer. We're going to use the bowl. We're going to use the paddle. Okay. It's not the whipping kind of thing. So we'll put that there. Get that on. All right. So what we're going to need to do, start with a full cup of granulated sugar. All right. So let's get that in the bowl first. All right. So that's eight ounces of sugar, just in case you didn't know. And now we're going to use eight ounces of butter, which is two sticks. So we'll use our two sticks. Now this is softened butter. It's been sitting here on the counter for a little while, nice and soft, very well, very loose. So we'll get that in there. This is a very simple recipe, folks. I enjoy it a lot. Um, it's very easy to do, very basic, but the uh, you know the the results are just phenomenal. Okay, so we have one cup of granulated sugar and one cup of butter. I use the salted butter because I don't feel like adding salt. We're gonna turn this on low. Let it mix for a moment. What I'm doing is I'm dissolving the, uh, what I'm, I'm creaming the granulated sugar into the butter. Once the sugar disappears, then I will add just a touch of vanilla and just a touch of coconut extract. All right, pretty much all in there now. All right, so we're gonna just use a little shot of this guy, our vanilla. And it only takes a drop or two. And then we'll use some coconut extract here. And again, you don't need too much for the next little gap. It's going to give you plenty of flavor. So that's good. And coconut is a little more subtle than uh, vanilla. So you can actually afford to give a little bit more. Okay, so next, now that we're all nice and smooth here, we'll go ahead and add one egg. Okay, one whole egg, pop it in there, we'll let that mix in, nice and slow, okay, now at this point we should actually, once the egg is incorporated in, we'll actually give it a scrape on the bottom to make sure everything is all incorporated properly. Okay, see it's starting to smooth out. Now the egg has pretty much disappeared. So what we'll do is we'll lift the, lift the paddle, get down to the bottom, make sure that all that butter and sugar at the bottom has a little bit of egg mixed into it. Very important for the creaming process. You smell that coconut? I do. Yeah, I smell it too. It smells good. Alright, you just want to basically clean the paddle off a little bit there. Okay, so, a little another quick little mix. Boom, boom, boom. And there you go. Okay, so now we have our egg, our butter, and our sugar all incorporated in along with our flavorings. So now, what we're going to need is two cups of all-purpose flour. Okay, so there's one. And two. Okay. And now, 
I'm going to mix this not all the way incorporated, but almost all the way incorporated. And just before it's fully incorporated, I'm going to actually stop it and I'm going to add the coconut at the end. So, notice that the flour is starting to incorporate in. You've got little pea sized balls of dough. And now that it's starting to come together into one piece, that's when we want to stop it. Okay, so basically I don't want it to be fully mixed. When I put the coconut in, then I still have to put mixed coconut in. And I don't want the dough in general to be over mixed. So, we've got some shredded coconut here. Okay, and I'm going to use another two cups. Okay, now two cups of coconut is not the same as two cups of flour. See, because you got, you know, you got all those spaces in between, so by weight it's much, much less. So there's one. And there's two. Now that's going to give us a nice texture and extra flavor in our cookie. Okay. Alright, so now we will finish mixing this. Now once the coconut mixes in, nice and smooth, then basically the dough is going to be done. And you can see how it all falls together like that. Okay. Now I want to make sure that the what's on the inside the paddle there, okay, right here, this part, I want to make sure that that gets enough flour and tightness added to it. So I'm cleaning the paddle, and I'm going to give it just one more quick mix. Okay. And there we go. Okay, so now this is kind of a loose dough, as you'll notice. It's kind of wet and sticky. Okay, so, that being said, a lot of times you want to chill this dough before you want to roll it. Okay, it'll make it a lot easier to roll if you chill this dough. We chill it all the way. Okay, you don't want it, you don't want it to be at, at uh, refrigerator temperature because it'll be so firm that you can't roll it. But if you brought the temperature of this down about maybe 10, 15 degrees, it's certainly going to tighten it up enough so that you can roll it very, very easily. I have a little experience with my rolling, so I'm just going to jump right in and go for it. One thing that I can do is add a little coconut to the table, or I can even add a little bit of flour to the table. I don't really want to add flour, though, because that's going to give the, uh, the cookie a shell that I don't want. I would much rather have a little bit of coconut on there. In fact, okay, I will show you a couple of different things. Number one, we can take our dough and just pull a clump here, give it a roll like so, and put it right on the pan. Okay, now this is going to melt and spread, okay, because it's so loose and fresh, okay. One way to avoid that would be to chill the balls before we put them in the oven. Okay, so if you're baking cold dough, then they're gonna, you're going to basically bake the uh, outside shell before the inside has a chance to uh, turn into a pile of mush <laughs> and bake into a puddle. Okay, so we want to avoid that. So here I am. I'm just going to take a few of these guys. Okay, I'm rolling them. And I'm going to put these in the chill while I do another set with coconut rolled on to them. So, we'll just get a few of these rolled. I want to show you the contrast. Okay. So, move that one a little bit. That's when they're all about the same size. Okay, so there's eight of them. And I'm just going to put these in the cooler real quick. And now with this other set, okay, here's another method. We'll take some coconut, 
Now, this is macaroon coconut, so it's super fine. It's not flake coconut. It's uh, super fine coconut. Mm. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll take a, a nice clump, like so, and get it going into a lug. Okay. And now I'm using the coconut as if it were flour on the table to roll. See how... See how it's not sticking to the table? That's because of the coconut. Ooh. Okay. This. There we go. And can I just put a little more coconut on? That gonna hurt. Okay. You want it to be kind of even. Bring this around like so. And now, we use our bench scraper. To cut pieces. Like so. This is a great way to section out the cookies. Okay, now notice it's not nearly as messy. Okay. Basically, you got the same thing, only here we have basically a, a little layer of the coconut macaroon, but it's so rolled into the dough that you can't even really see it. So it's there, and it's doing the job that the flour would have done, but it's actually coconut. So, we'll just run with these. Roll them up nice. I was using this actually to make it so the dough doesn't get tough. What's that? That way the dough doesn't get tough. Exactly. That's what we want to avoid. We don't want tough dough. We want delicate, yummy dough. We want it to melt melt right in your mouth. Okay. There's a small one. You just take a little piece up off of a big one. Easy peasy. That's one we do here. So we'll pull a piece off. Oh, if it's your first time uh, checking this video out, make sure you like, subscribe, and uh, please share. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. It really helps us out. Yeah, folks, we really appreciate when you do that. And if you have any questions, please feel free to send us a message through uh, YouTube. I'd be happy to answer any questions that people have about their baking projects. Um, just need to ask and, uh, you know, get the question to me. I'll be happy to take care of it for you. So... All right, so we just got a couple more of these to do here. So I think I'm going to cut some more pieces here. Okay, so these aren't cut and clean because of all that flake coconut that's inside. But that's okay. It all rounds the same. Alright, so now it's just a better grabbing the right size piece. Notice how that coconut just keeps rolling right in. Mm -hmm. Oh, that smells amazing. Yes, it does. Now, one thing that uh, is also delicious is to do this dough exactly the way I did, only instead of using coconut extract, use almond extract, okay? And then take a few little big sliced almonds and then, you know, roll uh, with, with the almonds. Totally off the charts delicious. Okay, so these, I'm just gonna throw right back in the bowl because it's all coconut, okay? And we'll roll those off in a little bit. In the meantime, folks, it's time to turn on the oven. We will bake these at our normal uh, baking temperature, about 340 to 350 degrees. My convection oven, uh, convection oven normally bakes about 50 degrees hotter than a normal uh, home oven. So I have my oven set at 290, 295, and we'll be right back to put, put cookies in the oven as soon as the oven's hot. Two, one.
All right, they're cool enough. You put your hand on the pan, it's still warm. Oh, man. Terrible. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. So you've got a little golden brown on the bottom. Mm hmm. Tastes like a macaroon that's not gooey. Mm. Look at that. Oh, look at that. H. Oh. It's got a nice butter, butter flavor. You got that coconut. Mm. All that shredded coconut. Those chunks, it all retains its moisture and flavor. Mm hmm. Unlike the macaroon coconut that we put on the uh, outside. You can't really taste that. It's there, but you can't taste it. That's done. But you can definitely yeah, feel the texture. Alright, so we should have that much as a compare. Go ahead. Alright. Just so the folks at home can see. We're going brown, freaking half. Yeah, there you go. Oh yeah, but look at that beautiful texture. See how it's nice and gooey on the inside? Okay, so that's ah! Yeah, see what I'm talking mm -hmm. about? I'm talking about this part here, folks. That's the gooey part that I like. Right here, where it still looks a little wet. Almost like it's not quite baked, but yet it's firm and set. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. The flavor is similar. Mm -hmm. It seems to have a little bit more crush to it. Think so? Yeah. Interesting. It's good though. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's both. It's delicious. Me too. Mm -hmm. Well, folks, I hope you've enjoyed our video. I have. <laughs> it's well, always hard. Hard. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to this guy. Are you kidding me? Well. Hope you've learned something from our video. And if you haven't learned anything, I hope you're at least mildly entertained by our little friendly banter here. So just remember the, you know, simple, simple basic ingredients done right. You know, you, you can't go wrong. And when we bake with love, just like we always do, everything's going to be wonderful and delicious. So you can't go wrong. So folks, happy baking. Thank you. And, look and remember, to you next time. like, subscribe, share, and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of our episodes. And if you're first time joining us, please come back again. Thank you. Don't forget, it really helps us out when we do that. So, much appreciated.